The search has begun for volunteers for a mission to fly to Mars. The only slight catch is that if you go, you can't come back. It's part of a plan by a not-for-profit Dutch company called Mars One, who want to establish a permanent human colony on the Red Planet. Today, the Mars One Foundation starts the search for Mars inhabitants. The search for people from all nations who want to settle on Mars. Mars One is a not-for-profit organization that is working on landing the first crew on Mars in 2023 and another crew every two years after that. Takeoff, landing and various parts of the mission will be streamed on the internet with Mars One claiming an estimated potential audience of 4 billion. Successful applicants will have to undergo seven years training before the flight, which will take seven months. The one-way nature of the mission has raised questions from some over whether or not it's ethical. Any big step that, that you take will always uh, mean that there is risk. Uh, space missions always include risk and uh, this mission will not be different. When you send humans to Mars, there will be risks. But we will select the people and we will tell those people the risk. Respective parents should always ask himself, uh, is this the right time and place for me to have children? These are rep responsible people that we're sending to Mars, so they will certainly come to the conclusion that it's, especially in the first years, not the right place to have children. But maybe when there's 20 or 30 people on Mars, uh, that could become an, a possibility. Anyone between the age of 18 and 40 can apply with a $38 application fee going towards the $6 billion cost of the mission.